वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आज हमारा इंट्रोडक्शन ये शॉर्ट वीडियोस बनाया है ओनली फॉर द एम आर टी यूजर्स हु आर यूजिंग द एम आर टी बट दे डोंट नो हाउ टू यूज एम आर टी इक्वलाइजर्स डब्ल्यू डी न्यू हार्ट डिस कमिंग इन द मार्केट दैट लाइक चार्जर पालमर स्पाई ग्लस एंड दिस मॉडल्स तो हाउ टू यूज दिस मॉडल्स एंड हाउ टू अनलॉक देर इज अव टूल दैट इज एन एम आर टी इक्वलाइजर्स हैज कम so this tool we will show you how to use that is only for advanced users not for the freshers beginners don't understand these things so if you have an mrt and if you are doing a data recovery and if you want to know some more deep about how to unlock the rom and how to access the firmware of wd and repair the not initialize and see mirror some problems uh, had this you can repair through this this is i'm showing how to use the mrt equalizers If you are the beginners, then you have to learn the data recovery, how to recover the data from the logical, PCB, physicals, and the firmware, WD and Seagate. We have a course online and offline. You can join it. But this is only for the MRT users who are doing using the MRT. You can use this demo video. Today we will see about the hard disk WD hard disk data WD hard disk USB SATA lock unlock PCB conversions Whenever we got the USB hard disk we have there is a two type of USB hard disk one is a lock that is a lock with the firmware locks and one is a without lock so how to we have to convert that we will explain in this whole chapter So normally hard disk has an two type of locks wd hard disk lock and encryption smr hard drives so these are the latest hard disk smr drive that is a usb hard disk and one desktop hard disk also coming so this is your usb hard disk that is a palmer spy glass 1 2 3 and charger and another two three more hard disks are coming in this smr drives and another hard disk there is a usb hard disk no lock just converted this is an old one before 2 3 years there is a no lock systems so there usb to sata only we have to convert there is a two type of hard disk lock and and without lock that is a rom lock what is a lock we will explain you detail later on there are two type of locks so normal locks and without locks so here is the hard disk we can check here this is your old models this is our old models we start the pcb number is something like this 20771460 it has a number conversion usb to sata you can convert this already we have explained in our classes the 77161 1761 equivalent is 1692 these are the equivalent pcb for usb uh, without lock But nowadays, new PCB that is number eight triple zero three eight four one six nine. These PCBs are locked, so we have to convert to uh, we have to unlock. For unlock, we required external PCB or another option. There is new hard disk ROM unlock. These three options are coming nowadays. Okay, so this is your types of WD USB PCB lock and without lock. Now WD hard disk lock. and encrypted some are lock and some hard disk nowadays coming with the encrypted if you change the usb pcb original pcb and connect another pcb then it will be encrypted data will become so this is encrypted the new sm smr drives 2.5 hard disk there are the family charger palmer spypel spyglass spyglass 2 and 3 these are there and in wd desktop hard disk there is a smr drives like a Carmel, Apollo, and Venice are like this. So these are the normal PCBs. What are coming in lock? For PCB unlock, we required this PCB is lock in MCU and CPU, and the whole drive service area ROM is not accessible once the firmware is corrupted. User cannot access ROM and service area to repair, backup, or head map or anything to recover the data. So for to recover, we required. to recover the lost data from this kind of locked hard drive with this pcb number user need to access rom and service area to repair backup head map anything you can do it when we connect with the rom lock pcb 
it will not access rom it will not access rom module it will not access the service area this error will come hard disk will come in detection but it cannot access rom rom module service area module anything it will not give the access to access this rom module and these things we want to we want to buy or we want to unlock the rom then only it will access the data users not buy the common pcbs from new hard drive okay users not buy pcbs normal uh, pcb is not required we required only unlock pcbs in market you will get a more pcb also but uh, we don't need pcb user need to unlock pcb for that particular model or now in the new update pc3 on dlfa we can unlock rom there is a two option you can buy the unlock pcb or you can make a patch of rom unlock you can unlock rom directly unlock patch will be there for temporary it will be unlock for temporary like that says the rom unlock after rom unlock or user use uh, unlock pcb we can repair the firmware but in some hard disk also have an encryption in the user data after converting usb to sata encryption means the data is not shown original it has been encrypted so these also problems come so in this condition we have to use the original usb so in older model we are making a jumper like this that is a usb to sata but if it is locked the data will not access but if it is unlock rom is unlock then you can make a jumper like this e71 72 73 like this we are making till now we are making jumper like this now this jig is available which directly pin are connected with this pcb and this pcb you can connect with the sata that is a jig or you can use mrt equalizer so this device you can use it we can connect a jumper e71 to pin number 2 like that e71 here to pin number 2 3 5 6 this you connection you can make if it is unlock then only if it is lock pcb then first you have to unlock then you can make a jumper like this if you don't want to make a jumper then you can buy this jig which we will show in this video next before that if first time what we happen we have to remove the rom we have to program it then we have to unlock but nowadays no rom chip to be removed because we have a pin like that we can directly read through the programmer a rom without removing it but now a new equalizer mrt equalizer equalizers it doesn't required to remove the rom directly it will be unlock on the pcb If you don't want to solder the ROM, you can do. After swap ROM, user may backup all the firmware module first. First, we have to backup all the modules. And in the new hard disk, don't use the translator SMR. And in new hard disk, remember not to format any SMR drives. This we have to remember. Okay. Next. These are the some uh, WD unlock SATA PCBs photos. That is a double two series four one. 3TB, 4TB charger, spyglass. These are the some sample photos. Huh? These are the PCB number. You can see the PCB number below. These are some demo of hard disk which has a lock. 65 PCB, 66 PCB. Okay. These are the PCB. Welcome, friends. Before this one video, we have seen that is introduction about the USB to SATA. how we convert the usb to sata and what is a jumper and what is a jig so here we will explain you wd hard disk usb to sata and unlock pcb list with a compatible chart so we have a mega compatible chart about the usb and mrt equalizer so here we have explaining here if you have a usb hard disk which is the usb hard disk that is important so i will explain you one usb hard disk what is a usb hard disk coming this usb hard disk coming in the market that is a my passport my elements and this hard disk inside this hard disk there is a small usb hard disk pcb is the coming so this hard disk in the market coming 
विच हैज अ पी सी बी नंबर एट ट्रिपल जीरो सिक्स सेवन एट ट्रिपल जीरो सिक्स सेवन और सिक्स थ्री हैज अ यू एस बी पी सी बी एंड इट इज अ लॉक सो वी रिक्वायर्ड अनलॉक पी सी बी दिस इज योर अनलॉक पी सी बी दैट इज अ सिक्सटी फाइव और एम आर टी इक्वलाइजर यू कैन यूज सिक्सटी सेवन एंड ऑन थ्री यू कैन यूज जीरो थ्री दिस इज एम आर टी इक्वलाइजर यू कैन यूज वेन वी प्रोग्राम इट्स गिव मी द मैसेज हाउ मेनी साइज ऑफ द रोम तो यू कैन गिव द राइट साइज इज वन जीरो टू फोर एंड इट इज हार्ड डिस्क फैमिली कॉल्ड चार्जर एंड इट इज अ टू पॉइंट फाइव इंच हार्ड डिस्क एंड मॉडल नंबर विल बी लाइक दिस तो दिस इज फर्स्ट चार्जर फैमिली मेनली इन दिस न्यू हार्ड डिस्क दे आर कमिंग विद द एनक्रिप्शन एनक्रिप्शन इज कमिंग ऑन द चार्जर एंड स्पाई ग्लास ओल्ड ओल्डर बिफोर वन टू ईयर्स इट विल बी नॉट एनक्रिप्टेड बट नाउ इट इज कमिंग विद द एनक्रिप्शन तो वेरी हार्ड मोस्टली दिस केस इज कमिंग चार्जर द चार्जर इज अ फर्स्ट ऑप्शन अबाउट द डाटा रिकवरी सो फॉर दैट वी रिक्वायर्ड एम आर टी इक्वलाइजर्स वी रिक्वायर्ड सिक्सटी सेवन नंबर द दिस इज मोस्टली डिमांडेड पी सी बी जिक वॉट इज अ जिक दैट आई विल सो यू वन द मिनिट एम आर टी हैज इंट्रोड्यूस दिस जिक्स सी दिस इज जिक कमिंग विद द एम आर टी बॉक्स विद द फुल गुड पैकिंग एंड स्क्रूज एंड एवरीथिंग दे आर प्रोवाइड विद दिस डिवाइस and this is one for 67 11 these are the different different in the market they are available 67 41 12 03 69 and 35 33 and 67 these are the mrt equalizer mrt is selling mrt lab so what is a requirement the first is a charger you can see the charger i have explained the charger about that then second important is a palmer you can check the palmer palmer usb pcb will be like 69 you can search on internet also or it 0066 or 68 these three is equivalent is 66 unlock pcb you can use a unlock pcb 66 if you don't want to unlock pcb you can unlock the rom or you can use this mrt 69 number pcb equalizer when we unlock the rom size it will uh, we can use 1024 rom size and its family is palmer 2.5 inch second is a spy glass 1 2 3 like that models are there which has an pcb of 80041 usb we will use uh, unlock pcb for that and uh, 80022 or mrt equalizer you use the number 80041 and here rom size is 512 and it is a 2.5 and it used in different different models 2tb 4tb 4tb and 3 4 5tb like that so this is your spy glass spy glass has different version spy glass 1 spy glass 2 and spy glass 3 so there is 1 2 3 3 models are now coming latest models spy glass 3 is also coming encryption So that is an USB is eight one double zero three five and unlock PCB is also three five and MRT equalizer number is also thirty five. Its size is five one two. It's also two point five. Next in the desktop, when we go on desktop, this is your desktop. Hmm? Desktop means computer hard disk. It already come with the SATA, and if you cannot unlock, you can use the unlock PCB. but now rom unlock directly you can do the rom unlock they are no required of the equalizer because equalizer used in only usb so you can directly rom unlock or you can use a unlock pcb if you don't want to unlock the rom its rom side is 104 its uh, model number is carmel or apollo carmel and apollo 3.5 is in wd20 model So this is another model. Next, we will go. Some more model is coming. That is a Venisir. Venisir is also there. That is a PURZ. Its model number is eleven eight one triple zero one one like that. It is also one MB. And another some PCB is also coming eight triple zero three eight eight one double zero SATA eight one double zero three three has an MRT has an equalizer. One two also have an equalizer and eight one triple zero three also have a equalizer. 
and new latest 810051 these also pcb is coming in the market okay so this is the introduction of pcb and pcb is in a very good quality and it has a good packing and everything is good so if you are in expert in uh, this is an advanced level data recovery if you have a mrt you can use this device also if you don't have mrt then you can use a unlock pcb pc3000 dfl you can start the doing data recovery okay thank you. This parcel come from China MRT. We are unboxing the device. We have ordered MRT Ultra high speed terminal. This is high speed terminal and some USB to SATA converter. This is USB to SATA device. This is high speed terminal cable and this is your high, uh, USB to SATA cables this is cable for these boxes this is per box there is a high speed this is a triple zero four one they have given the pin also we have to insert the pin and this box is coming like this this is your 8 zipper 041 this is all the MRT data recovery lab MRT SATA signal equalizer this is for different different models are there here you can see 810003 8000041 8000067 8100012 Or these are the eight triple zero six nine. This is six seven is repeated. Six seven. Six seven. Ah, six seven. Cut out. These all are the six seven. Six seven is repeated. We have ordered six seven four or five piece only. So it is six seven is repeated. So normally they have sent us. Eight triple zero six seven. This is eight triple zero six seven. This is your eight triple zero three eight one double zero three piece series. This is eight triple zero four one eight one double zero one two and eight triple zero six nine. These are the models. Normally, unique five items are there. The so five models we have bring. Normally, in a normal users use only 67 more, or maybe 41 or 35. 35 is not there. 41 and 67 is there. Okay, so we will show you how to open single box and how to connect each device. So this is how we have ordered it, and it has been done. We will show 800067 series. We will show you one device. The whole box containing here. It has with the manual also. This is your manual. How to use manual with the device. This is your manual about how to do it in China and this is in English you can see the manual how to use this device second it is uh, with the screw is there uh, it has been uh, devices here we have to remove it for the safety they have make a good packing so it will be not uh, damage in the transportation 
there is a top and bottom two pcbs are there we will open the screws see this is two part part 1 that is a layer bottom layer that is a part 1 and this is a top layer part 2 this is only come for the safety because the pin will not bend the pin not bend so this is only bottom is come only for the protection so that the our pin will not be damage so this pin come with the protection you can see it has a only for the base pin are only for the protection main we have a this device and this device contain we have to make a cap when we open it here you can see it is a very small pins if it will be damaged then there will be a problem so don't touch with this and for the protection they have given me this safety protection base so when it is not used we have to put here it will be safely here So this is 67 pin. This is 67. Now we will show you how to use this device. Okay. So given extra, you can see this. We have to connect on the motherboard. This all the device they have given extra, two big, four bigs, and four smalls. Depend on your PCB. So this is for difference connecting on motherboard. We will show you how to connect on the motherboard. Then you can use it. Like this, everyone has and some same thing. very good packing and very good material here also you can see everyone has same an extra pin also they have given if it is broken that is a pogo pin they have given me the pogo pin also and this is your usb cable we have to connect the usb cable here and sata cable here after connecting on the motherboard so this will work for the terminal rom read and rom write we will use this this is a c panel C C connector, so very easy. You can cross, multi cross also. You can. It is be easy. Okay. Okay. This is our charger hard disk for a triple zero six seven PCB. We will remove the screw of the PCB first. this is usb pcb and it is encryption to read the rom and to unlock the rom and read the data as a sata we will convert to usb to sata the first is the notch there is a two clip you have seen in the mrt videos there is a two big clips two big clips are on the hole and two smalls they are in the this two is small then one big big is on the screw hole
then another two screws This is too big for top screws and this is for panel. So this is too big and for small. Now we will open the PCB base. See for the protection they have put the bottom PCB. For the protection they have put the bottom PCB so that the pin will be not bent. This is very thin pin. So for the protection they have put these things. Only for the protection purpose. This is for protection purpose. And this is main our PCB. So we will connect a PCB direct. So first we will connect the contact of each, uh, 2RX to TX, you will see there is any tap or something here. You have to see the contacts to be cleaned. So, these contacts will fit here. So, we have to clean the contact if there is any flux or any dust will be there. So here, your contacts will be clean, or we can clean with the isopropyl or something the pad so that this pad will contact here. it is a very tight then we will over tight the top two big screws we will put these two big screws that is also given with the box there is totally four big and four small the so one is a bottom one is a top now it is connected properly you can check it is connected properly and the pin is uh, connected on the board. So here they have given the four pin for E71, 72, 73 and 75 and two for uh, short pin. So these are and the power pin. Com port connection also given here. After this we will connect with the software. So we can download the software from the internet. So first we will go on its website en.mrtlab.com There they have given the website This is a software that you can download from internet That is an MRT change signal version 3.6 So we will open this Then we will connect the USB cable That is through the USB cable we will connect And we will give the SATA cable and uh, power cable both power and SATA or with the MRT channel 0 we have connected on MRT channel 0 with uh, USB cable now we will start the run we will see the COM port where we have connected our uh, device we will go on to, uh, if you do, cannot find you go to uh, device manager and find where we have connected the driver you can check here COM port that is a U USB serial that is a COM3 after setup driver you can download the driver this of firmware and driver from the website website this is your websites en.mrtlab.com here you are downloading the software in the fourth option they have added these things MRT SATA signal equalizer so from here you have to take one driver and software both that is driver and MRT chain signal software both this they have added now before that only three softwares are there but now it is MRT SATA signal equalizer driver from you can download from here from here okay 
So you can download from here. Next, we already downloaded and set up, and it is on COM three. So first of all, we will power on, on off. So it will on, and it will, this is green, and it's uh, reading size. We have to finalize. We know the the read write ROM size. It is a one zero two four. We have a chart. From there, we will find the size. Then we will start read. SPI. From zero to one M size to be read, but uh, here SPI setting is there. it start reading uh, rom just now in this software the chinese uh, uh, message is coming but it's reading two message come then it start reading the device after reading you can see the dump of the rom has been read this is a dump of this charger hard disk read perfectly now we have to unlock the rom we are again saving the file load it asked me to save the room uh, we create one more folder charger 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 or invert number okay and we will save here same as a room we'll go to that location and see the room is save or not here it has been saved the rom has been saved it is a 1 mb file 1024 kb now we will unlock this rom on the same portions with the help of mrt utility we will go on rom create unlock rom from the file okay we'll go to desktop charger 5750 and here is a rom we have file so we have open the rom and we have unlock the rom patch it has been unlocked now one more uh, rom has been created its name is unlock rom this file so we will write this unlock rom again to our rom so we will again open file then we will take the unlock rom same unlock rom then we will go to open and then we will write it so my unlock rom will write again to the hard disk this is chinese language okay okay it is size 1024 okay and it will start writing the data you can see it is start writing the hard disk uh, when you unlock it then it is reading this informations till there it will not read the informations abhi apne squat detect power on nahi kar raha hai So without ROM unlock, you cannot access the ROM, RAM, module, everything. You cannot access the data. So the ROM unlock need to access the firmware or ROM or something. You can access. you can compare both the rom it will be changed the patch of unlock 
unlocked it has been made under rom change it is easy to not to remove the chip from the pcb for a moment it has been success okay done now we will close mrt change signal version 3.6 we power off the port then we will close this software or i'm sorry Today, our main focus is on introducing the Western Digital USB to SATA signal equalizer, officially launched by MRT. In simpler terms, it can be understood as a probe board with signal amplification. For this demonstration, we will be using the probe board designed for the Western Digital 800067. Let's begin by looking at how to install this probe board. To ensure convenience, we have prepared three types of screws. The thinner screws are guide pillar screws, used to calibrate the position of the pro. There are two types of thicker screws. One is used to secure the pro board in the slots on the circuit board, while the other, with a longer screw shaft, is used for overall fixation. Now, let's proceed with the installation of the probe board. Ensure that the holes for the guide pillars are properly aligned. For securing the probe board, tighten the screws just enough without excessive force. Once the probe board is installed, you can connect the data and power cables to begin repairing the disc. You might be curious about the Type-C interface present on the board and when it needs to be connected. Functionally, it serves as a programming interface with two key purposes. Firstly, it enables the reading and writing of data from the ROM chip, facilitating firmware unlocking operations on the hard drive. Secondly, this interface allows for the adjustment of the hard drive signal gain ensuring more stable and faster data retrieval. Now, let's connect all the cables and proceed with a demonstration of the software side operation. We have separately configured a supplementary program encompassing ROM red slash write functionality in gain adjustment settings. Firstly, we need to select the COM port. In this case, the Type-C port is recognized as COM5 in the device manager. Clicking the refresh button will display the available COM ports, and we can select COM5. Next, Click the connect button. Since the drive is not yet unlocked, we need to begin by reading the original ROM. Before doing so, ensure that the ROM read slash write power switch is turned on. Let's start by reading 32 kilobytes to verify proper communication. The readout is successful without any issues. The ROM data for the 800067 drive is 1 megabyte. So let's proceed with reading 1 megabyte. After a successful read, let's save the original ROM. We can then utilize MRT's unlocking function to unlock the original ROM. Once the unlocking ROM is generated, we can write the unlocking data to the ROM chip using the software. After completing the ROM data read slash write, it's important to turn off the ROM read slash write power switch allowing the probe board to revert to normal data transmission mode. 
There is one more important thing to keep in mind when using the probe board for data reading. With the current version, it is advisable to use SATA 2 mode. You can find the mode selection option in the tools menu on the main interface. Simply click on transmission and reset for SATA controller to adjust the mode for each individual port in MRT. By default, the mode is set to SATA 3. Now, let's switch the transmission mode from SATA 3 to SATA 2 for... At this point, powering on the hard drive will enable access to the firmware information. First, let's create a backup of the firmware. Enter the DE module and create a copy task. We'll select VHDX as the destination for data copying. Once the task is established, perform head mapping on the hard drive to generate a head bitmap. Next, attempt to expand the hard drive's partition table. The partition table successfully expands, allowing us to mark the valid data. After completing the marking process, we can initiate the copy operation. Currently, the drive is using PIO mode with a sector size of 32. The copying speed is averaging around 30 megabytes per second, providing a stable performance. Now, let's increase the speed and test if the drive can still maintain a stable read operation. Switching the read mode from PIO to SATA high speed and changing the sector size to 2016 sets the drive to the highest read speed configuration. With this setting, the average read speed reaches around 65 megabytes per second. This speed allows for completing the data mirroring process within a day. After ROM write, we will go to here and we will connect to tools and then we will go to standby reset speed in that we will go transmitter and reset for SATA controller in that SATA controller we will connect uh, in uh, hard disk in the connect in ATA0 mode in ATA0 mode we will connect ATA0 mode that is a SATA port and the power we will connect in uh, SATA port 1 ATA0 we have connected hard disk on ATA0 but the power we will give a SATA1 in that we will co connect ATA0 so it will be busy then DRD DSC will come after uh, auto detect it will start working now you can see the family has been shown and when we go to auto check it will select the charger family we will go ok after charger family we can give re-identify the device it will detect me the ROM, RAM, everything it is showing after unlocking so we will back up all the resources in this hard disk because it is now unlocked so we can back up all the resources now it's RAM, ROM, everything is showing so now we will back up all the module and resources now you can repair whatever you want to repair we can go on repairing option first we will make a backup of all the resources so we will go back up all resources before ROM unlock we cannot do now we can unlock after unlock we can do the backup of all the resources and modules and all those things so if you want to repair anything we have to first back up all the modules so in this charger family we have to first unlock then we can go ahead there are some modules corrupted but no need of these modules main modules we have a 190 modules it will take time in 190 modules because it is a SMR drives and SMR drives will take time so we have speed up the speed up the video so it take 190 it will take lots of time because it is a very big file we wait we have speed up the video but as uh, every SMR drives 190 module is very big so it take time to read 190 module
So first of all we have to unlock the ROM through the equalizers then we can access the firmware. There is old technologies also you can use the unlock PCB also if you have. Now 190 read and other modules also read. After all reading completed saving ROM and everything is been completed. We can check all the ROM modules have been read ok. Now we can access the logical scan if there any bad setters or firmware except we can repair it and then we can image it after repairing the firmware. So now logical scan will work before ROM unlock also but after that also you can access. Now we will go on data explorer and we can recover we can see the user sector viewer also. Now it is no encryption but if you convert to SATA or uh, USB to SATA it will be conversion. Con uh, encrypted. Now it is not encrypted. The boot sector and all users we can see it. The, uh, this is the process of how to unlock the ROM. Now we will go in data explorer then we will see the data is there coming or not. We can make a head map also after unlocking. All those process we can do after unlocking. So this is the process of how to unlock the PCB, charger, palmer, spigals all have the same facility. But we have to remember only one thing as per three videos we have shown the different different videos we have to select like this. We are making data image data copy we will show the structure. Now we can make an image if you not want to copy we can make an image also and we can make a now head map also. Before unlock we cannot make a head map so here we can make a head map also from service area head map. The we will try on another option also uh, if 190 ok it will make through 190 or other file. You can see that we have made the head map of four head. Now if any one head damage we can recover through the other head also. This is the process. This already you know about using MRT. So no need of these things. You want to know only how to unlock unlock the ROM through the equalizers. Okay. We, if any head is you can disable the head. So this is the process how we can use the equalizers to unlock the PCB. Okay, thank you.